Johnny, how proud are you of your son? Oh, extremely. Austin did a good job. He made His goal was to make it up the hill. He did. I think I'm suffering more than he is. But it was quite an experience. It was great to hear him all cheer him on. And Austin, just when you were climbing up that hill, right. running up that hill, the support of all of the people who came out today to run for yeah. cystic fibrosis for you, what was that feeling like? Uh, it was really uh, good. Uh, just having every uh, buddy behind me cheering me on. Uh, just gave me that little bit of edge to get going and finish. And Johnny, just thoughts about the event as a whole. I know it just ended, but initial thoughts, how excited are you? How excited were you seeing everyone come together in the end, running for Austin, running for cystic fibrosis? Oh, it means a lot, and it shows what the school's all about. They all came together. They did a wonderful thing. And if you ever truly want to kind of experience what CF is like, give this a shot. When your lungs are burning, they're heavy, you can't breathe, that's pretty much what it's like all the time. And Austin, just final thoughts. Um, you know, what has the Quinnipiac women's rugby team meant to you these past two years, helping your battle, helping you along the way, raising awareness for the disease and raising awareness for your story? Uh, man, it's amazing. It's, I can't put it in uh, to words. I'm just, uh, I'm blessed beyond uh, belief, uh, a lot more than I uh, think I should be. Uh, you know, these people are just great people. All the girls are awesome. Uh, and like I uh, said, you know, they're not just a team. They're not just our friends. You know, they're a part of my uh, family and will forever will be. And Johnny, what is your message to the greater community? What is your message to them after everyone came out today to support your son and cystic fibrosis? Oh, it means a lot. I mean, like I said earlier, it shows what <clears throat> just not the rugby team, you, the sports department, but Quinnipiac for allowing us the ability to do this. So everybody in the community is part of it, whether they've been here or not. So it means a lot to everybody, and we appreciate it. Gentlemen, thanks a lot. Thank appreciate you. it. I saw you rooting Austin on as you were running up that hill. You know, the strength and determination you have to show battling that disease to run these hills. Just put it into words how brave of a battler Austin is. I mean, there isn't really any words you can put into it. And I just was talking to him kind of on the way up the hill. And I was like, you know, he was just in the hospital for 30 days. And I was like, when you were in the hospital, did you think about ever being out here on the hill and being able to make it? And he's like, no, I didn't. So, I mean, he's doing things even he thought he might not be able to do. So it's fantastic. What are the raw emotions that are going through you right now, finishing the event in the hill? I mean, the, first, just for him and for him to be here and for her to share at this moment, but the fact that, you know, our team was out here and we had some athletes, we had women's basketball come out in the beginning, but then we were at 40 hills and we were like, okay, we need to hit 80. looks like our team's going to have to do double of everything. And then men's basketball shows up, women's soccer shows up, tennis shows up. Um, I don't know who else I'm forgetting. Um, but the team showed up and we just crushed it. I think we were at 134. So we had 134 hills accounted for when our goal was 80. And that's what Bobcat Nation is all about. You know, It's not just meeting your goal, it's surpassing it. And they did it for someone who appreciates it. And they ran those hills and couldn't breathe for a good cause. What just, again, I saw you all day running those hills. You know, the assistant women's lacrosse coach ran yeah. five hills. Just what does it say about the Quinnipiac community, the athletic teams, the people in Hamden coming out today supporting a, a young man who is struggling with a terrible disease? Yeah. What does that say about the community? I mean, it says that we're more than just athletics. It says that we that we care about this. I mean, we have um, you know people, representatives of athletics. We had Q30 out here, and it just felt really good to have that support. It says a lot about you know what we're trying to achieve and showing the community that you know we do care about things that are beyond you know shooting a basketball, kicking a goal, and you know making a try. Like this is what it really is all about, and bringing the student athletes together. It's it's fantastic. Thanks a lot, Becky. Thank you.